We're going to have a look at multiplication and division that involves negative numbers. Before we start, I'd like to, to open your homework books to integer 7, uh, where you will see a table just like this one, because what we're going to do is we're going to be filling out this table together as we go through. Okay, we're going to start with something that's very simple and very familiar, which is a positive times a positive. So something like this, 3 times 4, that's the kind of thing you've been doing since you were in grade 2 or 3. 3 times 4, what does that mean? It means we've got 3 lots of 4. In other words, we've got 1, 2, 3 lots of 4, and that's very easy. The answer there is 12. And so what we see here is that if we have a positive and we multiply it by a positive, we get a positive answer. I'm just going to write pause for positive because I don't have enough space to fit it in. Okay, let's look for the next one. The next one's a bit different. It's a positive and you're multiplying it by a negative. But the meaning of the multiplication has to be the same. So in other words, what this is, is you've got seven lots of negative 3. In other words, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 lots of negative 3. Now, you've been doing your addition and subtraction of negative numbers, so you know immediately that this adding a negative is just the same as subtracting. So what you've got here is exactly the same as this and then if we want to calculate that we start here we've got negative 3 we must take three steps further down we get to negative 6 another 3 negative 9 negative 12 negative 15 negative 18 negative 21 so we end up at negative 21 so what we see here is that what we calculate, we get 7 times 3 is 21, but the answer is in fact negative. So the answer is negative 21. So any time we've got a positive and we multiply it with a negative, our answer is going to be negative. Now the next one actually follows straight away. Negative 5 times 2 is exactly the same as 2 times negative 5 because when we're dealing with multiplication the order in which we do it doesn't matter we can always switch it around so basically it's two lots of negative 5 and we've just seen that that's going to give you a negative answer so if we've got a negative times a positive it has to give you the same answer as a positive times a negative because with multiplication the order doesn't matter. So negative 5 multiplied by 2 is going to give you negative 10. Now the very last one is actually the very complicated one. A negative times a negative. And I'm going to just tell you the answer here. If you take a negative and you multiply with a negative, it gives you a positive. Now that is a bit of a funny thing. And and if you think about it, a negative times a negative is quite hard to make sense of. With three lots of four, we could understand it's three lots of four. In other words, it's a four, a four, and a four. And here, this seven lots of negative three, it's seven negative threes, right? But negative nine times negative seven, it's hard to make sense of. We can't say there's negative nine lots of negative seven. Very hard to explain it simply and easily what that means. So I'm going to ask you just for this while to just take it from me that in order for it all to make sense nicely mathematically, we have to have a negative times a negative being equal to a positive. So negative 9 times negative 7, we're just going to say 9 times 7 gives us 63. We want it to be positive 63. Okay. We've now got all of those ideas in place, and I hope you've written them all into your table, right? A positive times a positive is a positive. Positive times negative is negative. Negative times positive is negative. And a negative times a negative gives me a positive. And this is just something that you really may need to make sure that you just know. 
Okay, so then we can apply it. If we've got 3 times negative 5, we're dealing with positive times negative. We know our answer must be negative. And we know our times tables, I hope. So 3 times 5 is 15. So it is negative 15. Next one, negative times negative. We know that we are having to get an answer that is positive. And we know our times tables. 2 times 4 gives me 8. And we're going to make it a positive answer. So it's positive 8. Let's look at the next one. What multiplied by negative 6 is going to give me negative 18? Well, can you see we're in the position where our answer is negative and the thing that's being multiplied by is also negative. So negative, negative. So the thing here has to be a positive. So the thing here, positive. In other words, we're going to take it as 3. 3 times negative 6 is going to give you negative 18. Now, multiplication and division are very closely related to each other. So all of these facts that we've just established for multiplication work just as well for division. In other words, we could go and replace everything there by a division sign, and it would mean exactly the same. So a positive divided by a positive is a positive. A positive divided by a negative is a negative. So we can answer these questions now. We've got 24 divided by something must give me 6. Well, we want our answer to be positive, and we have the thing that's being divided as positive, so the thing underneath must also be positive. So it's 24 divided by 4. What about this one here? Well, our answer is positive, so we're in those two situations. But the thing that's being divided is negative, so we're here. So negative divided by a negative will give me a positive, so I have to put in a negative 4 to get our answer of positive 6. You're going to try some examples like this, and then you're going to come back to watch a video where we're going to do some slightly more complicated examples.